Hi folks, it's William Everhart with eLearning Uncovered. A few weeks ago, Diane and I were putting the finishing touches on our latest book, Adobe Captivate 2019. And while we were doing the research for that book, of course, we had plenty of time to play around with the new features. Well, one of those new features is the virtual reality project, and I have one of those open right here. So in a VR or virtual reality project, you can just click and drag and, and look around this environment, and so can your audience. But you can also add interactivity to these VR environments. And one way that you can do that is through the use of hotspots. Now, Adobe includes 20 different hotspot icons. And so I'm just going to select the first one here, this little target. And they all look basically the same. They're all round. They have this little drop shadow effect around them, and they're all black and white. Unfortunately, you can't change them in any way. The only thing you can do to them is move them around in your environment. And if you go over here to the properties inspector over here, you can maybe add audio to them. You can add some actions to them, but there's nothing in there that allows you to change the color of them or change the size of them. Well, now, what if you wanted an icon that's not included in this set from Adobe? Now, maybe it's just the designer in Diane and myself that got us both thinking about how we could possibly create our own custom hotspot icons. And then we got to thinking about this other hotspot option called image. Now, normally, if you select image, you think of an image as something like this. Wasn't I a cute kid? Now, who is to say that an image has to be a rectangular photograph? I mean, can't we take any graphic and then export it in an image format like JPEG or Ping? Well, sure we can. And so what I'd like to do is just show you a really quick and easy way that I came up with to add your own custom hotspot icons. The first thing you're going to need is some sort of graphics editing program. Let's take a look at my favorite graphics application, Adobe Illustrator. So here in Illustrator, I have created a variety of icons that I would like to use in my Captivate projects. Of course, they're branded with my colors, and I have a couple of different sizes of each icon. The smaller icon is 36 pixels, and that is the exact same dimensions as the standard hotspot icons that Adobe Captivate comes with. The other icons in this set are exactly double that size, and that just helps them stand out in a busier VR environment. Now, no matter what graphics application you're using to edit your graphics, the important thing is that you have a way to export or save those graphics in the proper format that Captivate can accept. So in the case of Adobe Illustrator, that command is found underneath the file menu. If I go up here to file, I will see that I have an export command. If your graphics application has an export command, I highly recommend you use that first. See if it will export in a JPEG or ping format. Now, if you don't have an export command or it doesn't support those two file types, look for a save as command. It's very similar to export, and it should also have the ability to save your graphics as another file type. Once again, we're looking for JPEG or Ping. Now, I have already exported these graphics from Illustrator, so let's jump back over to Captivate and import one of them as a hotspot icon. All right, so let me go ahead and move my little photograph over here out of the way. And let me go back up here to the hotspots menu and let's choose that image command again. And this time I'm going to navigate to my icon set here. Now in this set, I have a variety of colors and I want to use the red. So I'm going to open up that folder. Now notice that it says there are no items to match my search. Well, don't get discouraged. Just take a look down here in the lower right hand corner, just above that open command. I have a file format, and you can see it is currently looking for JPEG files. But if I click that little menu, I will see the option to look for ping files as well. I'm going to select that, and now here are all of my little icons. So I'm just going to select this camera in the 36 pixel size and click open. 
And there you have it, my custom hotspot icon. Now, if I deselect it, you'll see that it does indeed shrink down to that 36 pixel size, and it is roughly the exact same size as the default hotspot from Adobe Captivate. So there you have it, folks. Creating custom hotspot icons is really easy, and it's a great way to personalize your Captivate projects. But wait, there's more. Remember all of those cool icons I showed you in Adobe Illustrator? Well, I'm going to share those with you. I'm not only going to include the red ones, but I'm going to go ahead and give you all of these. I have them in a light blue, a green, a medium blue, and black. So feel free to use these in your next Captivate VR project. If you'd like to learn more about VR projects and all the other cool features in the new Captivate 2019, then be sure to check out our book. It's available right now on Amazon. Well, until next time, my friends, this is William Everhart saying, stay curious.